What do you mean by cell cycle checkpoints? Cell cycle checkpoints are critical regulatory points in the cell cycle that ensure the proper progression of cell division through different phases. The three checkpoints are, first one is a G1 checkpoint, then there is G2 checkpoint and the M checkpoint. In this video, we will be discussing what are cell cycle checkpoints, why there is cell cycle checkpoints, the proteins involved, cyclins and CDKs, and regulation mechanism of each of these checkpoints within 5 to 10 minutes. What is the purpose of the cell cycle checkpoints? The cell cycle checkpoints checks for DNA integrity of cell at each stage, proper chromosome alignment, and also ensures that the cell has adequate size and nutrient availability to progress to the next stage. Now let us see the regulation by CDK, cyclins, and other proteins. The first set of proteins are called cyclins. Cyclins are regulatory proteins that activate cyclin-dependent kinases or CDKs at specific phases. They are called as cyclins because the level of these proteins fluctuate throughout the cell cycle, ensuring timely activation. The second class is the CDKs or cyclin-dependent kinases. As the name suggests, the cyclins bind to this cyclin-dependent kinases and activates the cyclin-dependent kinases. Once activated, the cyclin CDK complexes phosphorylate target proteins to drive cell cycle progression. So these are the proteins that is involved in cell cycle progression. So this is how the cyclin and CDK works. Cyclin binds to CDKs. So cyclin CDK complex is phosphorylated. And this activated cyclin CDK complex then phosphorylates target proteins. And this activated proteins advances the cell cycle to the next phase. The third class of proteins are tumor suppressor proteins like P53RB, etc. These proteins monitor DNA damage and cellular stress and can halt the cell cycle for repair or induce apoptosis or program cell death. And the next class is the kinases ATM and ATR kinases. These proteins detect DNA damage and activate checkpoints, kinases to prevent progression until issues are resolved. So this first two, cyclins and CDKs, helps in progressing from one stage to the other, whereas tumor suppressor proteins and kinases are regulatory proteins that halts cell cycle. Now let us see the G1 checkpoint and how this checkpoint is regulated. It is also called as restriction point. See, this is the G1 checkpoint. It regulates the transition from G1 to S phase. So this is a G1 phase and this is the S phase. So this is at the end of G1 phase before entering the S phase. So this checkpoint ensures whether there is any DNA damage. It also assesses cell size and nutrient availability and determines if growth signals are present. If everything is fine, this checkpoint allows the cell to progress to the next phase, that is the S phase. Now let us see how this is regulated. The cyclin primarily involved is the cyclin D and CDK4 and 6 are also involved. This cyclin D binds to CDK4 and 6 forming cyclin CDK complex. That is essential for transition from G1 to S phase. Once activated by cyclin D, the CDK's cyclin complex phosphorylates RB. This phosphorylation lead to the release of E2F, which is a transcription factor that promotes gene expression necessary for DNA synthesis and progression into S phase. Let me make it more clear. So this is RP that is bound to this E2F, which is a transcription factor. Once phosphorylated by this cyclin CDK complex, this RB releases this E2F or transcription factor. Now transcription factor is free. E2F can bind to this DNA and turns on gene expression, thus advancing the cell cycle. Hope you are clear. The cyclins involved are cyclin D, CDK4, CDK6. Cyclin E and CDK2 is also involved. Now the regulation of this G1 checkpoint it is primarily by the P53 gene or P53 protein. Once there is DNA damage, this P53 level rises 
and that activates the transcription of P21 gene and the production of P21 protein, which is a CDK inhibitor, thus inhibiting this CDK, thus halting the cell cycle or preventing the progression from G1 to S phase. The second checkpoint is the G2 checkpoint. G2 checkpoint, so this is the G2 checkpoint, regulates the transition from G2 to M phase, mitotic phase, at the end of G2 phase before entering this M phase. This checkpoint ensures that DNA replication is completed properly and assesses DNA damage repair has completed without any error. Cyclin B is involved and CDK1 is also involved. Cyclin B accumulates during G2 phase and binds to the CDK1, forming cyclin B CDK1 complex. Once activated by cyclin B, it phosphorylates multiple substrates that is required for mitosis. This complex is essential for transition from G2 to M phase. So these are the cyclins involved, cyclin B and CDK1, and cyclin A and CDK2 is also involved at times. The regulatory protein is ATM ATR kinases. These proteins sense DNA damage and activate checkpoint kinases CHK1 and CHK2, and that can inhibit CDK1 activity, preventing the entry to M phase till DNA repair is complete or causing G2 arrest. So this is how ATM and ATR kinases regulates cell cycle progression from G2 to M phase. And the final checkpoint is the M checkpoint, which is also called as spindle assembly checkpoint. So this is the M checkpoint during metaphase of mitosis. So this checkpoint ensures chromosomes are properly attached to spindle apparatus. It prevents anaphase from occurring until all chromosomes are properly aligned. At the metaphase plate. The cyclins involved are cyclin B and CDK1. Cyclin B continues to be active during mitosis, maintaining its association with CDK1. The cyclin B CDK1 complex ensures that all components required for mitosis are in place. It phosphorylates proteins necessary for chromosome condensation and spindle formation. So, cyclin B and CDK1 is involved in M checkpoint. The regulatory protein is MAT2 and BUBR1. These proteins monitor spindle attachment. If any chromosomes are not properly aligned on the metaphase plate, they inhibit the anaphase promoting complex or APC, preventing the degradation of cyclin B. This inhibition keeps CDK1 active until the chromosomes are correctly attached or inhibits cyclin B CDK1 complex, ensuring proper segregation during anaphase. Thus, this MAT2 and RUB1 prevents cell cycle from entering into the anaphase. Now, let me summarize. G1 checkpoint, cyclin D CDK4 or 6 complexes promotes progression to S phase. P53 can halt this process if DNA damage is detected. In G2 checkpoint, cyclin B CDK1 drives entry into mitosis. ATM ATR kinases prevent progression if there is DNA damage. In M checkpoint, cyclin B CDK1 ensures proper chromosome alignment. MAT2 and BUBR1 inhibit progression until all chromosomes are correctly attached and properly aligned at the metaphase plate. Hope you are clear. Take care, stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexcepts for you.com.